Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about reaction mechanisms. Now in my previous few videos about substitution and elimination reactions, you've probably heard me saying reaction mechanism before like the mechanism of this reaction is blank 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 but what is a reaction mechanism so the reaction mechanism basically means a step-by-step -step process by which the chemical reaction occurs so for example in my SN1 video there was a unique type of reaction mechanism that we could use to predict SN1 reactions same for SN2, E1, E2 etc 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 so how do we know the reaction mechanisms like we don't actually write text in a particular book or something that this happens then this happens we are able to show it right but how do we show it we use symbols most notably arrows so let's look at the different type of arrows that we can use for reaction mechanisms so this is an arrow you've probably seen before this is the forward reaction this is when the reactants turn into the products this is a reversible reaction again something you've probably seen before this is where at now it can go from reactant to product or product to reactant this is when it is at equilibrium yes these two symbols do not mean the same thing. One is a reversible reaction, another is simply in equilibrium. This one, yes, it's pretty much the same type of symbol, is where the products are favored over the reactants. So there are more products than the reactants. And here is where the reactants are favored and the products are not favored. This uh, applies for resonance structure. This one refers to electron pushing. And again, we have seen this before in our organic chemistry series. For example, in SN1 video, we saw how the leaving group leaves. So we saw that the the chlorine group left by this arrow the electron push then there are the one electron push because it's uh, this is two electron push this is a one electron pu push which is a radical and we'll be looking over these later so that is the electron pushing arrows and then there are a bunch of these as well this is where there is going to be no reaction and this is yeah so those are a bunch of arrows and a bunch of symbols but how do we use a reaction mechanism and its symbols what is it good for let's look at a reaction we've seen before in our SN1 video here is a very good example of how we can use symbols to predict future products. So first the leaving group leaves. Here we saw the electron push. Now here we see how the electrons from the water, the oxygen molecule attacks the carbocation. And then it might seem very tempting go to go from oxygen to oxygen with a straight arrow, but it will give oxygen way too many atoms, which is which can't happen naturally. So we just deprotonate, then we attack the oxygen, and that is how we end up with a racemic mixture and that's how we got the alcohol group instead of the leaving group we also learn about how it goes from sp3 hybridized to sp2 hybridized so these are the p orbitals and we saw how the nucleophile arrows attack the p orbitals and this also shows how the arrows can be used for understanding the reaction mechanism So yeah, that is all there is 
to reaction mechanisms. This is simply an aid video that we will be having so that we understand more about the future reactions without confusing ourselves too much. And I'll probably be planning a separate series outside of organic chemistry where we will be looking at a ton of interesting reactions, preferably after learning a few concepts. And those reactions are very interesting. And to understand those, we have to understand the reaction mechanism. So that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe and leave a comment down below to anything I've probably missed or something I could include or maybe something you want to say, anything. And please share it to someone who might need so that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.